Today we're looking at Pascal Blanche. This guy, I'm not sure where I came across him. I think I heard him talk in an interview or something. Um, but his stuff is really interesting because he has like this mix of like 3D stuff, stuff that he builds in 3D, and then he brings them into, I think, Photoshop and he paints them. And so we're just going to real quickly go through some of these pieces. I think this is going to be a short one today, but uh, he's really good at setting up these compositions. And he has a really good way of like dividing up the color. You know, when we look at something from far away like that, like I'd mentioned in previous episodes, it is very recognizable, right? And when we zoom into it, we see that there's a lot of texture going on. There's a lot of texture going on in the background. This is always something that I notice with a lot of high level artists is especially high level painters that do this kind of rendered style. Um, you find a lot of a lot of noise, I guess you could say in the background. There's a lot of variation. It's very rarely just a flat color. This one's, oh man, I love this one. This one's great. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. All right, again, it's the same thing. You can see it from a long distance. And then the closer it is that you get, the better, right? So if we look at like, what is the composition? What is he doing with this piece? We can see that we have all these leading lines that are going across the piece. Hold on one second. Yeah. So if I take this and I put some red in here, we've got all these lines going across here. All right. And you could say these parallel lines, and then you have another line, which is basically the convergence of this shape that's pointing up to her. So it's almost like everything is funneling up to the face. And you could say the same thing about these shapes back here. Right? They're all fanning out. They're all fanning out from the body. But they create like a nice rhythm. They create this nice little one, two, three rhythm, and then she breaks this rhythm with her body, right? And of course we see some nice curves in here for getting the getting the body. There's a nice silhouette of the figure. Yeah. So you have a lot of like fanning elements that are all kind of pointing us in one general direction. This one looks pretty cool. Yeah, I love I love stuff like this. Like this clearly this stuff was done probably in Blender or maybe 3ds Max or something like that, and then he brought it in like I said, he brought it into Photoshop and and I love doing the 3D stuff like that because uh, it's almost like playing with toys in a way. You know, you're just positioning toys in specific ways. This one's another really cool piece. He's got a lot of... Yeah, he's got a lot of use of symmetry. Very cool. So this one's going to be a short one, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through the next several. Oh, man. This is just so dope. I mean, it feels like it's something out of Doom, right? I mean, especially the architecture. Everything looks like a like a turning gear. You know, it's got like an H.R. Geiger kind of vibe. But then whenever you whenever you see this figure in the front, it also has this. It kind of feels like some sort of a 1990s video game kind of aesthetic going on. You know, I almost feel like this is maybe the way my 14-year-old self saw some of the video games that I played in my own head. You know what I mean? It's another great one. Simple composition. You know. Simple composition, but uh, powerful. He uses a lot of strong silhouettes. You know, he's got... Wherever it is that he has the focal point, 
he's making sure to to bring your attention to that with these strong focal points with these strong silhouettes I mean you know because when you start looking at the detail of all this again it, it goes back to the design principles we were talking about before you know there's variation you know you have these circular shapes you can say this is a very circular composition, right? You have the circle and the background, and then we're seeing this variation of the circles in the armor, right? You see them all over the place, they're variations. So we have that big, medium, small going on again, where you have a big shape, and then you're taking that same shape and, and organizing it by putting it uh, in smaller details, and medium details and that makes a design feel cohesive because it feels organized and then you have a contrasting element and that contrasting element uh, could be the silhouette itself of this character which has a lot of sharps in it All right so his so this, her silhouette is not as circular as the background or the details on her armor This guy's really good too. Another simple example of of an illustration that has a very simple background, but then you have you have this amazing character illustration on the front of it, and it and it's really really awesome this one has a Frazetta vibes this goes back to what I was saying before about we're we're trying to uh, capture a moment we're trying to capture a moment that happens right before or right after something's gonna happen so this is clearly what it is that happened right after and this is another example of an artist who takes a very basic thing such as the color of his lines and he changes them up and makes them red instead of black and the effect it is that it has on the piece overall is pretty awesome you know you can see there's a lot of rendering going on in here you know so he's taken this 3d this 3d layout look that's even the same armor that was on the chick so he's reusing some some assets because this was the same thing let's go back and look at this Yeah, so that's definitely a 3D asset because he's using the same 3D asset over here. It's the same thing. So that's the, that's another cool thing about the 3D stuff is that you can create an asset or you can even download an asset and then you can just play around with it. All right, that's all it is that I have for you today. I uh, hope you guys have a good week. And... Uh, Thank you. Like and subscribe. Make sure to drop a comment if there's an artist you'd like for me to cover. Take it easy.